Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I want to do a quick video on how I calibrate or check and verify my steps per unit. Uh, in this case, my steps per inch on this machine. If you're just setting your machine up, uh, this might save you a little bit of time. Um, I'm using Mach 4. I've watched all of the Mach 4 videos on YouTube and I've gotten a lot of great information, but one spot I think they don't do a very great job is on how to calibrate the steps per unit on your machine. Uh, in the video they tell you to move an inch and measure and see how far you went and there's a calculator built into Mach 4 that will automatically do the math for you and so they tell you to do that back and forth a few times over the inch and then to verify it by moving the machine five or six inches or something like that. Well, you know, if you're off just a thousandth of an inch on uh, over the over the distance of one inch, at six inches you're off six thousandths of an inch. Uh, or if you're only off a half a thousandth over an inch, that's pretty good, I would think, if you're using uh, cheap calipers or you have a dial indicator that only goes each mark is a thousandth or something like that, cheap equipment. Uh, I would think, hey, that's pretty good, a half a thousandth over an inch, that's, that's, that's closer than you could ever measure it with a tape measure. But if you were to measure a half a thousandth over an inch, with every subsequent inch you travel, you build on that half a thousandth worth of air. So by the time your machine has moved all the way down to say 48 inches, let's say your machine is a four by four table, that's 24 thousandths of an inch off. That's, that's a lot. Uh, and that is going to really mess you up if you're doing cabinetry or uh, any kind of woodworking that you might need dados or a really tight fit. So my method is I lay a tape measure out across the table and I use the full length of the table to figure out my steps per inch. Because that way, whatever measuring error I have, is over the full course, the full length of the table. So if my eye is off a couple of thousandths on the tape measure, that's now being divided by the length of the table rather than multiplied by the length of the table. So I know I've got a very long table. The longer your table is, the more accurate uh, your machine will be when you're done doing this, but it works great even just over the four the four foot wide portion of the table. I do the same method to, uh, to calibrate that axis as well. So I'm going to show you real quick how I do it and uh, you'll see how accurate it can be and hopefully this is of use to somebody. Alright so what I've done as you can see I've set that v-bit right on two inches as close as I can get it and we're going to take away all of the measuring error whatever measuring error we might have and it's going to be divided along the full length of the bed. So if my eye is off a couple of thousands, divide a couple of thousand over, you know, over eight feet. So this is a real accurate and fast way to do it. So I've set the, the work origin to right where you see it over the two. And now I'm going to use the computer and command it to move all the way down to the other end of the table and we'll see how far it goes. So here at the table or at the computer at the MDI it's just a real simple command uh, G0X90. So you can see I've already calibrated this but there we are we're right at 92 inches which is exactly what I wanted it to be. Do it the way you see it all over YouTube and all over the internet. Measure an inch. Measure two inches. Uh, and this is the same thing. It's the same method, but you're using all of the table. And it's going to give you a much more accurate um, end result. So what you do is, let's say this wasn't, let's say this was not, it came up at 91 inches instead of 92. I would need to increase the number of steps per unit in the software. You would take what you wanted you would take, I, I commanded it to move 90 inches, but I only got 89 inches. You take 90 and you divide it by 89 and you're gonna get a number greater than one. It's gonna be one point something, something, something. Multiply that by the current 
steps per unit you have and hit en and enter that in the computer and then do the test again. And you're going to find that this results in a much more accurate... It's the same method, but this is going to be more accurate because you're using the, you're doing it over the full length of the table. So any error is divided by the length of the table rather than multiplied. It was a short little tip. It's something that I use. Uh, I've set up a few CNC machines, a plasma table, a router table, a 3D printer. I built a mostly printed CNC. That was my first CNC router, it was a mostly printed CNC router, 24 inch by 24 inch, and then I, I graduated all the way up to the big one here. And every time I've set up a machine, that's the method I've done it. And it's always worked and I've always had excellent results and it's far more accurate than trying to, trying to hold a caliper, a veneer caliper, or trying to get a cheap dial caliper to work. This way you don't need any special tools. I'm sure you all have a tape measure. Lay it down on the table, measure the, use the full width, every inch that you can reliably, measure it that way, and you're gonna wind up with a much more accurate CNC machine. So I hope this helps, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, you know, if you think that this was, this tip was worth a subscription, I would really appreciate it. So thank you and stay well.